kill team is a lot easier to list build for than the last edition or 40k where you have to use all the different sub fashion rules and traits and points but for some of the newer teams there are a lot of decisions to be made with all the different types of operatives equipment and war gear so i want to show you an easy way to make your list where you know it will be a legal kill team the way we're going to do this is an app called battle scribe it's really popular in the warhammer 40,000 scene but they actually do have a kill team list building tool in the app. I'll show you step by step how to install it and how to get your kill team list built and some of the nice extra features it has built in. So here's a screenshot of what the final list will look like just so you can see what the end result is that we're going for. So let's go ahead and get started. The first step is download the program. Just Google Battlescribe or go to battlescribe.net. Once you are on the website, just click on the type of operating system you have, depending on if it's Windows, Mac, or Linux. I have a Windows PC, so I'll be going through that process here. The download part might be a touch different, but it should be the same once you get it downloaded. Once you click that and start the download process, go ahead and click through the options and choose where you want to save the file, if you want to create a desktop shortcut, and for here, go ahead and leave that button turned on to let it launch after it finishes downloading. Once it launches, it will ask you if you want to download some data files. You'll want to click yes here. Battlescribe has a lot of different gaming systems in it, so you'll have to tell it which ones you want to download. It will pop up the list of games, and you'll want to scroll down to where it says Warhammer 40,000 Kill Team. Don't worry about the edition number. That will always update whenever new rules come out. So unless you're following this guide immediately after I made this video, it probably won't match up. If there's any other games you play that you want to go ahead and get the data for, you can do that now. A lot of you will probably want the Warhammer 40,000 rules, or if you play something like Age of Sigmar or Warcry, that's on there too. There's a pretty big list, so go ahead and look through it. Once you do that, you'll want to go ahead and click Done, and then go ahead and close out the other window as well. Now we have our data in the app, so we're ready to start list building. To start, click this button in the upper left-hand corner of the screen to open the roster editor. At the top, you'll want to change it to 2021 Kill Team, unless you actually are still playing 2018. Good on you if you can still find a match for that. Click on Add Force, which basically means you pick your fashion. And the second option is basically picking your fire team to add. If you're using a kill team that has different fire teams, then you'll select them one at a time and add them in. But here I'm using Commando, so we're just picking the Commando Kill Team. Now you can see that it automatically gives me a list of all my possible operatives. Just click that little plus button to add each operative you want on your team. Here's one of the nice features of Battlescribe. If you make an illegal list, it will give you this little orange alert at the top of the screen, and you can hover over it, and it tells you what's wrong. Here it's telling us that we have too many operatives, and there's a mass of 10. If we get rid of an operative, it goes away because it's once again a legal kill team. It does the same thing if you add too many models that have a cap on how many of that model you're allowed to have. Here if I add two Burnaboys, it alerts me that I'm only allowed to have one. You can also use this to add equipment and keep track of your EP allowance. Click on your operatives, and then you can see what equipment they're allowed to take. And you can see your EP total under your fashion's name. If you go above 10 EP, you'll get that same type of warning that you did if you made an illegal team and tells you that you have too much equipment. If you wanna save this team to look at it later, click on the orange floppy disk at the top left-hand corner of the screen and you'll save it as a Battlestribe roster file. Just type in a name for the file and press save. So another really popular feature that you've probably seen if you're on any Warhammer or tabletop Discord or forums are the shared Battlestribe rosters. Click on the share button and then click forum. This copies your team into a pasteable format. Just pressing control V and I can copy my kill team list into a forum with all the operatives and equipment listed. This way you can show strangers on the internet how bad you are at making teams. If you've ever seen a team formatted like this, chances are they are using Battlescribe. If you click on the little eyeball that says view this roster, you can see all of the stats, equipment, and abilities your current list has. This is a good way to get an overview of your team before you finalize it. Also, if you hover over any piece of equipment or options on the right-hand side, it will pop out more information about it. This can take a minute or so if it's not working, so just wait for about 10 seconds and it should pop up. It will do the same thing if you hover over an operative, 
or you can just right click and click view selection to get more information about them. Now if you want to look at a team you've previously built, simply find Battlescribe on your computer and launch it. The name of it is Battlescribe Roster Editor. There are some other ones, but that's not what we're using here. Then click on the second button that says Open an Existing Roster. Then just double click on the file you'll want to open. Another awesome feature with this app is you can use another website called datacard.app to actually make printable data cards that have all of your information on them. I've made a video about that before, and I'll link it here at the end screen. If you found this useful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more tabletop gaming videos. Thank you for watching.